Hi, it's Mary Allen with IT in Canada, and I'm here today speaking with Rick Jackson, who's the Chief Marketing Officer at VMware at the VMware Forum 2011 in Toronto. Rick, uh, thanks for taking the time to speak with me. My pleasure. Um, one of the differences between highly virtualized environments and the cloud is the ability to dynamically share resources and move and balance workloads. So can you explain how VMware is helping its customers achieve this? Sure. I would actually start by talking about the fact that really with a virtual infrastructure, the ability to dynamically move workloads around, in fact, in an automated fashion is something that VMware really pioneered, brought to market back in 2003. Uh, it's, what, it's a lot of the value that we provide for our existing customers. When we think about cloud, we start thinking about dynamically allocating resources, not just from within one's own data center, but also from really a network of cloud providers that provide additional capacity and pools of capacity outside of the data center. That's the model that VMware is orienting towards. So all of our developments in technology around management, security for example, are to contemplate the notion that IT should have the ability to leverage external resources from a public cloud provider that has a compatible environment from what they've got, from what customer has in their private cloud. So now I can achieve that dynamic capability that you're referring to across clouds. That is really where the technology is focused on today. Okay, so a lot of the research suggests that adoption is going to be hybrid, a hybrid model. So can you tell me what VMware is doing specifically to support the hybrid preference? Uh, it really is the model that we, we think of as just being cloud computing, that it is by definition hybrid. We don't believe that most customers are going to just uniformly take all of IT and, and ship it off to some other provider uh, to, to manage for them. Uh, I think we called that outsourcing and that was an option that was been available for for over decades. Mm -hmm. um, so we really think that what the, the value of cloud will be this ability to uh, dynamically take advantage of different clouds um, that starts with the internal data center, or what we today refer to as the private cloud. Um, every survey that we've seen, and whether it's an analyst, whether we've run it, a media company has run it, every survey says that the bulk, the vast majority, in fact, of application workloads are going to continue to run inside the data center, even through 2015. Um, but our initiative at VMware is to create the technology and the partnerships with the cloud providers, like we have here with Bell Canada, to create an environment where our customers can securely, in a well-managed environment, know that they can leverage public clouds in addition to their private cloud in a seamless fashion. So we like to refer to it as we're, our goal is to move it from a technology discussion and challenge to simply a business decision. And that's the model that we're designing and developing for. Mm -hmm. And from VMware's perspective, it's neutral because your customers are both the enterprise that's virtualizing and also the service provider customer. That's correct. We're, the nice thing about it is as a leader in the cloud marketplace, specifically focused on cloud infrastructure, um, we like to say, you know, we have no dog in this hunt. It's not about our cloud. It's all about our customer's cloud. Uh, and we refer to that as your cloud. You should have that flexibility and capability to design the cloud environment that makes sense for your business. And that's really what we support. Um, can we talk for a minute, about, a minute about accessing the cloud? You know, I've heard that tablets and smartphones are going to be the devices that are best um, suited to accessing cloud resources. So what technologies are needed to ensure that this access is secure and reliable? It's a great question. And, and you know, stepping back is, is what's really happening here is a change in the model of how we work. So it's, I think it's bigger than just the, the footprint of the device and cloud. It's the fact that we really are changing how we work and collaborate within business. It used to be that we, were, we came from a very document-centric world 
the whole notion of desktop computing was how do we automate the traditional desktop, which has, you know, it used to have a typewriter, we now had a word processor, it had files and folders, we have files and folders on a desktop. So we were trying to automate this old way of working. If we look in our consumer life, we have a natural tendency as humans to want to collaborate. We have the capacity to actually take in information from multiple streams and multiple parties to dissect it, to add value to it, comment on it, collaborate around it, and send it back out. That's how we naturally want to live and work in our consumer life. So we believe that that's going to happen within business as well, that these tendencies are going to come in and change the way we fundamentally work in business. This is why I believe, you know, even speaking for myself, why the smartphones and the tablets are so popular. I happen to use a, an iPad, and I love it because the bulk of what I do isn't creating documents. That's a very small percentage of time that I spend. It really is this notion of, of real-time collaboration with groups and organizations. And that device is perfect for it because it's easy to carry, it's always with me, it's always on, always available. So in IT, we now have to contemplate that change in this world. And that means a shift from thinking about things in terms of desktops with all the applications and data on the endpoint itself and, man and managing and securing the physical desktop to a world where applications and information are going to be uh, distributed, stored within the data center, in some cloud environments, and, in, and still in some cases on devices. Um, so how do we manage and secure that kind of environment? This is a big focus of VMware Horizon, is creating a secure environment for very simple purpose. How is it that we securely map users to the applications and data that they need, but doing so in a way that that application and, and, those, and that data can come from any multiple sources, whether it's software as a service, a cloud-based provider, from the data center itself. So Horizon is about creating that secure connection around that. Where we see this heading is that we also need to create what we, what we would refer to as a secure bubble of corporate information, corporate data. So for example, on my uh, smartphone today, I have both my consumer world as well as I use it for accessing business information. We're working on something called the mobile virtual platform that we're uh, in pilot stages with some telco providers. And what that does is enable my smartphone to have a secure corporate bubble, if you will, a container for all of the business information and business data that I might want to access from that same device. What's the advantage of that? Is that now I can secure access to that bubble and secure the data and the access to my enterprise services and do so in a way that if at any point in time I, that device is lost or I choose to leave that business, that corporate bubble is immediately shut down. The number one security risk in business today is the fact that people are actually walking around with mobile devices with sensitive and corporate information on those devices and walking right out the front door. That's just inevitable. We are there. We are already in a state of the market that that is just going to happen. So now it's time for us to embrace that and secure it because you're not going to stop it. And then another piece of that whole approach is virtual um, desktop and centralized management yes. from the IT department. Yeah, I actually see the, this movement for virtual desktop as you know the very first step uh, on this journey towards this really cloud-based user environment, which is we got to unlock the current applications and data that are currently stuck on the endpoint devices, the desktops themselves. So we got to free it off of that. First, the easiest step right now for customers is to basically take the entire desktop, wrap it up, and move it into their own private cloud environment, and then deliver that desktop back to any device uh, whether that's a, a, another you know, laptop, a thin uh, PC, uh, or even to a tablet. But again, I feel like that's a, a 
starting point on this journey, but at the end of the day, uh, I don't want to see a Windows desktop on my iPad. It makes no sense to me. Today, I've got to get that, those applications, some of those applications that only run on Windows off of the device, and I need access to them. But where we need to move to is this, this, this world of truly not only device, but operating in uh, system independence for applications and information. Thanks very much, Rick. I appreciate your help today. It's my pleasure.